All right, moving on to the first fights on uh, FXX, and uh, it's uh, Elizio uh, Zaleski de Santos versus uh, Max Griffin. And uh, this is a pretty fun fight. It's going to be a violent fight. Uh, Max Griffin is a guy who comes out in the first round, a uh, real explosive guy in the first round. He has uh, one-punch knockout power. He knocked out Eric Montano in, like, 50 seconds, and he has a lot of those type of knockouts. I think he has, you know, most of his wins are by knockout in the first round. And... Uh, he has some pretty good striking. He has a nice right hand, uh, strong leg kicks. Uh, you know, but you could tell, like, uh, he doesn't really like getting hit that much either because when he gets hit, it seems like he starts to break a little bit. Because Covington, when Covington was landing strikes on him and showed him that, hey, he wasn't uh, scared, he wasn't going to fall down when he got hit, you could tell that it kind of scared Max Griffin a little bit. And then when Max Griffin would get taken down, he would just he would just lay there. He wouldn't try to get up. He wouldn't be trying to transition. He wouldn't be trying to sweep. He wasn't even attacking off his back. Wasn't throwing any strikes. Uh, uh, for a little bit in the first round, he did have some good, you know, good takedown defense. He was good at denying the clinch. But, you know, after a few attempts, after he got hit a little bit, it seemed like he kind of, his energy bar went way down. And then, you know, uh, Dos Santos, man, that guy is uh, criminally underrated in my opinion. He's He has pretty good grappling. He does get taken down like an almost... <laughs> every fight in the first round man and he but he survives in the first round maybe it'll be a little bit of a rough round but then in the second round you could see that see that he's not backing off man and his pressure is real insane he's always coming forward throwing real big heat he throws some big leg kicks uh big body kicks a huge right overhand big left hand big hooks uh he has no problem standing in the pocket and uh banging with you you know taking one to give one and uh you know, he might have just as much power as Max Griffin. He, he has some real serious power. And uh, in the third round, you know, he, he really comes alive in that third round. He really has tremendous cardio. That third round, he usually takes it to people, and he, he's, he's relentless. You know, he comes forward, and he's never going to give you an inch. He's never going to let you breathe. When he sees you're tired, he really is pretty good at going for the kill. And he actually has some pretty good grappling himself. I think he has, like, a massive grappling advantage over Max Griffin. But, you know, I also think he's, he's probably a better striker than Max Griffin, too, especially after this first that first round. And, you know, that's kind of what I think is going to happen. I think Max Griffin might land a few big shots, maybe even stun uh, Dos Santos. But I think over time you're going to start to see Dos Santos is going to start to wear down Max Griffin. He's going to start to get in his head. You know, he's going to start to break him. And I think of that third round when uh, – Dos Santos always comes real hard. I think he's going to finish him off in that third round with some strikes. And uh, I think he's going to knock out Max Griffin.